This video briefly describes how the golf cart Christmas light show was created. Our neighborhood has an annual off-road vehicle Christmas parade, so it's fun to load up my golf cart with flashing and flickering lights and drive around. First, I'll describe all the hardware used in the system, and then I'll describe the various custom software pieces. The first requirement was everything must be portable and run under battery power, since this is an electric golf cart. Most importantly, the lights must be low power, so LED Christmas lights fit the bill quite well here. A string of LED lights draws an amazing 2 to 4 watts of power compared to their incandescent counterparts 30 to 80 watts. Rather than using my existing golf cart batteries, I added an additional 12 volt marine deep cycle battery. I used a small inverter so I can use standard off-the-shelf 120 volt AC strings of LED Christmas lights without modification. Two relay output circuit boards were used. Each had eight relays for a total of 16 different channels. All 16 channels of the two relay output boards were connected to a microchip PIC embedded processor. This embedded computer controlled the sequence through custom software. This embedded processor also has an Ethernet I.O. module built in, so I was able to connect this device to a standard wireless router. This wireless router was set up as a DHCP server and Wi-Fi access point. This allowed my iPod Touch to be able to connect via Wi-Fi to the router. Custom software on the iPod Touch sent commands to the embedded processor via Ethernet. When the system was running, not all the LED strings were actually on at the same time, so the entire system, including the embedded processor and wireless router with the lights that were on, drew only an average of 20 to 30 watts of power. This was perfect to make the light show last the entire night and not kill my battery. Now, onto the software that controlled the hardware previously described. I used three software development tools to make all this work. The first software tool was Microchip's MP Lab IDE, which allowed programming in C for the Microchip PIC 18F family of microcontrollers. The custom software created with this Microchip tool contained the actual light sequences and Microchip's TCP IP stack software, which was configured to listen for UDP messages. This allowed the iPod Touch to start and stop the show and control what light sequences are currently being displayed. The second software tool was Apple's Xcode IDE, which let me write a simple iPhone iPod Touch application that would send the UDP control messages over the wireless network through the Wi-Fi router and finally to the listening PIC processor that we previously described. The third and final software tool was Microsoft's Visual Studio. Experimenting, developing, and tweaking the various light show sequences became a bit tedious on the real device because it took a bit of time to load the firmware onto the embedded device itself. To speed this up, I created a very simple simulator in Visual Studio. With this forms-based application, I was able to develop and test a light sequence and get a rough idea how it would look before putting it on the actual embedded device. This greatly sped things up. Once I was happy with the way the sequence looked in the simulator, I would then rebuild it in MP Lab and program it onto the actual embedded PIC device. Thanks for watching.